Hundreds of St. Nick's stretch their legs in Minneapolis during the city's annual Santa run. They're finding a bullet hole in the wall of their toddler's bedroom. In other news tonight, the budget crunch in Maryland means furloughs for state workers. An update now to a story we brought you first on Fox. We've gotten word tonight that the deal to sell a popular Baltimore County swim club is off. A Baltimore police officer has a confrontation with an armed robber in the middle of a populated neighborhood. It ends when the suspect is shot to death. People of all faiths gather for prayer this New Year's Eve. St. Ignatius downtown held its annual interfaith service tonight. All right, thank you, Jeff, for that story. Here's another one for you. A baby just couldn't wait for the new year to be born. Police in Frederick are trying to find the person who shot a student on his way home from school yesterday. In Washington, President Obama is stepping up his campaign to pass the economic recovery plan. Well, President Obama is taking a tough stand on those big executive salaries at companies in trouble. The president says if you're getting taxpayer dollars, your salary should be capped. Joy LaPola joins us with details. Joy. Two Baltimore City fire stations will soon shut their doors for good as part of the city's plan to trim the budget. More questions tonight about the real purpose of speed cameras. 11 speed cameras are working in Montgomery County. The clock is ticking for almost 800 Chrysler dealerships whose franchise contracts are being revoked. A very moving tribute to a beloved Baltimore sports hero tonight. Former Baltimore Raven and Baltimore Stallion O.J. Brigance was honored on the occasion of his 40th birthday. Sports director Bruce Cunningham was among those who took part. And he joins us now with more. Bruce. Fox 45, this year's winner of 14 Emmy Awards from the National Capital Chesapeake Bay Chapter. Fox 45 News is Baltimore's most honored news operation. And Arundel County Police are reminding parents to be vigilant after three separate incidents involving children on their way to school. An incredible shootout inside a packed Ohio bar all caught on camera. City investigators are working to find out what caused a five alarm fire at a warehouse in the Woodbury section of North Baltimore. The fire started early Sunday morning at a vacant warehouse in the Clipper Mill area. Some big news tonight concerning the cars that were towed and ticketed during the blizzards. Kathleen Cairns joins us now with more on how the mayor is reacting to angry complaints. Kathleen. Even before the earthquake hit, Haiti was the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. The houses here built out a little more than concrete blocks and cement. Scenes like this are repeated all over Port-au-Prince, mountains of rubble with still countless bodies trapped underneath. But amidst all this destruction, the Haitian people have found a way for life. To go on. How are the roads looking on this drive home tonight? Candace Dold has our traffic edge report. Candace. And school administrators now say they will perform criminal background checks each semester on all of the school's athletes. Maryland could join a fight over free speech. Crime and justice reporter Joy LaPola tells us the state is being asked to weigh in on a church spreading what some call messages of hate. This is a live look at the massive oil spill as it continues to golf, gush into the Gulf of Mexico. Everybody is now keeping a close eye on the weather. Tropical Storm Alex is not expected to come close to the spill site, but it could still generate waves up to 15 feet high and 20 to 30 mile an hour winds on its outer edges. It was the deadliest accident in the history of Washington's metro system. Nine people died and dozens were hurt last year when two trains collided. Now, federal authorities are wrapping up their extensive investigation into what happened. John Rydell tells us what those investigators have found. Baltimore City teachers are back at the polls voting a second time on a landmark contract. Karen Parks is live at Edmondson Westside High School where the results were supposed to be announced shortly. Karen. Well, if you plan to travel on I-95 through Delaware anytime this week, you may see more brake lights than holiday lights. Kathleen Cairns joins us to explain why AAA recommends you find alternate routes. WikiLeaks faces more scorn from the tech community. PayPal suspended the WikiLeaks account on its website on Saturday. Elected leaders from across the country toured Baltimore yesterday, learning how they might deal with the national foreclosure crisis. A digital sign outside of a Baltimore County elementary school is taken down after neighbors complain that new sign cost $80,000. Neighbors say the sign is ugly. 
New developments tonight surrounding the death of a special needs child. An NBA All-Star leaves his mark on Hollywood forever. Kobe Bryant of the Lakers put his hand and footprints into the cement this weekend. His a public hearing is scheduled for next month on a plan by Carl Stokes to lower property taxes by amending the city charter. AAA says high gas prices may be to blame for a decline in travel during the holiday weekend. The group says that overall travel will be down almost 3% for the 4th of July. Lady Gaga, a gay pride concert, and the U.S. State Department? Well, it may sound like an odd combo, but Kathleen Cairns reports U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton says the U.S. played a key role in arranging for Lady Gaga to take the stage at a gay pride festival in Rome. So what do you think? Should the U.S. State Department get involved in these types of events? Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash foxbaltimore, and let us know your opinion. It is one of the largest civil cases in Maryland history. ExxonMobil has been ordered to pay families in the Jacksonville area of Baltimore County a total of nearly one and a half billion dollars. Janice Park is live outside of the county courthouse in Towson where the legal fight over a massive gasoline leak took place. Janice. It's a plane makes an emergency landing in Queen Anne's County and what do you see where that landing happened? Right in the middle of Broad Creek on Ken Island. Get ready to pay up to drink up in Maryland. Starting tomorrow, a 3% increase in the alcohol tax will go into effect all across the state. Miranda Stevens has more on how some are beating the tax before it begins.